Well, we made it to the North Carolina Music Factory, and we're here with Robert Cromby. Robert, you've got this amazing event, and it's 10th year. Why don't you tell us about what's going on tonight? Oh, well, we're having a great time out here. It, this is the barbecue festival in, in North Carolina, quite frankly. Um, we, we bring out 100 teams to compete for some big prize money. Uh, we've got all different kinds of styles, but it really is a Memphis-based barbecue competition. Um, great music on stage, a little bit of blues, a little R&B, some country. A little bit for everybody. Now, Robert, I know things have evolved over the years. Mm -hmm. We were uptown, you moved out here to the Music Factory, and it's a little bit of a different feel, a different vibe, but it looks like people are really getting into it. They are, you know what, it used to be a street festival. We thought when we brought it out here to Music Factory, we have an opportunity to create more of a fair. And that's what we're hoping to do. Just keep growing, bring in those fun things that people love to do. All right, Robert, there's so much going on here. We've got a lot of things to go see. We've got to go see your, your, your backyard folk, which you've kind of elevated some this year. Tell we us are, about that. They're now called the Challengers. Okay. Now you have to have a little bit more knowledge about your barbecue. And what we're trying to do is get you raised up so you can join the big guys and compete for the big money. Um, it's a big difference in the dollars. You win $1,000 over there, you could win $7,500 over here. So, right. yeah, it's worth it to learn. All right. Well, we're going to take off. We're going to go all around this place. Here we are with the amateurs, the backyard, the backyard barbecuers. These guys are really serious about their barbecue. Who's the cheap butthead? Cheap butthead right there. Well, what are you guys cooking back there? Uh, we have uh, well, Vietnamese uh, wings. Hey, Mike, what you cooking over here? I'm cooking Vietnamese chicken wings. Did you make the recipe? Uh, I have perfected it. What, what do you got in it? Can you tell? Is it a secret? It's a secret. Sorry. It's a secret. Mm -hmm. All right, real good. So, today I got to shoot you. <laughs> but you're a butthead. That's right, I'm a butthead. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying these out. That smells uh, nice. We're trying these out tonight because we're entering the contest tomorrow. So we're going to figure out which one of the two is going to be the, the best for tomorrow. Who, who's the head sultan? So is this your first year? This is my first year doing okay. a solo. Doing All a right. solo. I'm very nervous right now. So obviously these people are having a great time. Oh, yeah. They're hanging out here waiting for the ribs to get cooked. Okay, guys, best of luck to you. Break a rib. Break a rib. Okay, well, my You're... husband just got done turning in the most amazing tri-tip that you have ever tasted. Ever. 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 totally going to win. All you right. Try right. It? right. Oh, absolutely. We definitely want to try it. Tri-tip. So I'm going to try it. <laughs> my gosh, it's, it's so tender. Wonderful. It's wonderful. You should win something. Yes. You should win something. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Pork busters right here. Third year. Okay, you Third excited? Year. Very excited. We've been practicing for six months. Wow. Ah, <laughs> proud big porkers. Who come up with that name? Who, who's the name guy? Well, today we had our beans, our yeah. wings, or anything but, which is anything but, bar, uh, but right. pork. Right. And our beans, we were pretty happy with them. Our wings were. And everything but we did braised short ribs. Uh -huh. um, they turned out as good as I expected. Right. You, you, you feel hopeful? Yeah, absolutely. You, you got In fact, you, if we don't win, I'll be very disappointed. Really? <laughs> Dennis, tell me about this experience you're having here at the barbecue festival. Oh, it's just uh, pure southern culture at its best. At its best? And that's coming from a local Charlotte boy born over here. I'm guessing the food's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out exactly the way that you would want to eat it. Pull right off the bone, not too soft, not too hard. Just pull away nice with a, a little kick of spice at the end of it. Okay, that's good. That's good. A little bit of roasted corn. Mmm. That's very good. There you go. Dave's hush puppies, everybody. Oktoberfest here at the North Carolina Music Factory. We have three bands playing, and we're all doing this to benefit a local nonprofit organization here in Charlotte. And we love it. It's been a it's been a fantastic partnership. Also, being involved with the Time Warner's Barbecue and Blues Festival this year, it's really brought a tremendous crowd out. That's going to help our our benefacting, and uh, we're real excited this year about uh, being a part of the North Carolina Music Factory.
Well, folks, it's been a fantastic show and a great day. And you've been with us during the entire process. We started off in Charlotte at Phillips Place with a good cup of coffee this morning. We made our way over to Moosehead Grill to visit with our friends who've just won national recognition for their great wings. And then we went up to Renfest. We met the Falcon, we met all sorts of great musicians, and a lot of fun up there. You definitely want to add that to your travel schedule. And then we ended the day right here at the North Carolina Music Factory with a Time Warner Cable Blues and Brews Festival. A lot of fun. You definitely want to add this to your schedule next year as well. Well, folks, you know we're always looking for great story ideas, and you can help us. You can send them to us at storyideas at lifeinthecarolinas.com. Well, folks, this episode has come to a sweet end. We'll see you again next time when we bring you more of Life in the Carolinas.